Hello and welcome to Back Bedroom Art and welcome to the Chocolate Factory. I wasn't sure how this would turn out. Um, it turned out very well in the end. I got this as a gift from Anna D and um, if you check out her channel Anna D Scratching Craft you'll see that she makes so many wonderful um, models and resin kits and paintings and stuff like that. I, I'm so inspired by her and she sent me this kit as a uh, as a present a long long time ago, too long ago. It's amazing. I'm so happy with it. So if you want to see how I got on making it, well, watch the video. And uh, if you want to see my thoughts on whether it's worth buying, have a check out at the end and you'll see it in action. You'll see it in action. Oh, there is um, one thing I should have added at the end and <laughs> realised um, after while well, I'm making this. And it's just one thing to add. The, the on-off switch is in there. I can't get at it with my big fat chubby fingers so <laughs> that's so when you watch the end of the film the end, end of the video and i mentioned uh, the things that I, I i i took issue with it that's one of them i can't turn the thing off not easily anyway so uh i've got a workaround and it's a screwdriver let's stick it up there and give it a wiggle anyway sit back enjoy and watch as i make my way from opening the box to this finished product Right, so if you've seen this, it must have been a success. And uh, it's I've no idea. It's all sealed up. Anna Anna Donnellan sent me this and I love you for sending me this. Um I do apologize for not doing it earlier. It's been down the side of the sofa, um, amongst some other things that I'm supposed to be doing. In fact, Bonbon and Daisy, our little pet rabbits, have been chewing it. Um but yeah. Let's Let's open it up and see what parts come with it. I'm hoping the tools come for making this because I am lazy and I can't be bothered to go up to the bedroom to get it. Right, so the most important thing when you're doing something like this, cup of tea. So I'm going to put that over there so it's ready for me to slurp away. So the instruction booklet seems quite straightforward. I only had a little flick through. Um, a lot of it is just telling you what parts. Suggest to put the parts in the box to prevent loss. If only I had a box. Hey, the box that it comes with. There is a lot, and it's very technical, very detailed. Um, but it is quite straightforward, really. What you're doing is you're following the like C11, pop in the C3s in like that, blah, 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 blah. And then you create the different parts. So um, I just randomly wanted to see how difficult it was to pop one out. So I really popped a D8 out. So it is, you can see it's been like um, laser cut in the wood. And it's just a case of just carefully teasing them out. It does come with a little bit of emery cloth so you can sort of file away any bits that are um, not quite cut out correctly. Blimey, wind's getting a pass. I just said something go flying. I hope it wasn't anything to do with me. But um, yeah, so Loads of wooden bits, loads, 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 all colored ones. Ooh, look at that, all the different um, like chocolate confectionery stuff. So I'm going to be busy popping things out. I think most of this build is going to be popping the parts out. It is nice that they're all numbered nice and easy like that. There is obviously the marbles that you get with it. There's loads of little interesting bits and bobs like the bell. There is um, like LED lighting. That's quite cool. Um, screws, like little cakes. What well, that is? Probably find out what that is later. Then there's loads of. Oh, there's a little hole and something just come flying out. Like nothing's coming out. So these are like all your tools and stuff. Um, another emery cloth. I don't know what that is, but I'll find out soon enough. And what's that? Ooh, inter interesting. So there's lots of bits and bobs in this box. And it's, I suppose it's all about putting it together. So I'm going to start with the first part after I found that bit that fell on the floor. And uh, I'll put it together and I'll show you how it looks. So that's the um, two C11s popped out. C12 popped out. And um, as you can see, there's like little rough bits. So it's just a case of filing them down. And 
yeah i'm not going to show you this for everything but i, I just thought I'd give you an idea what it's like um how easy it is to get the parts out and how easy it is to fit them together so this this involves having two c11s um c12 and then enough c3s to um pop it all together and the c3s are these bits here so you're just basically popping the c3s through the holes so there should be six i'm guessing and two four six eight i've got eight so i'm guessing c3s come in later but i'm only going to take enough off that i need and the C13 as well. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm just finding the parts that I need and then putting them together as, as I'm instructed to. Once we have a C13 as well. C13, so it's that big one there. And again, it's just a case of ooh, <laughs> popping it out. It does say this is a tool. So I'm guessing I need this to help me put the actual kit together so i think i'm not actually building part of the kit at the moment i think i'm just building a tool to help me make the kit because i don't know if you can make it out it says tool right anyway i'm gonna pop these bits out i'm gonna put it together as instructed to do that and i'll let you know how easy it was okay so i've done these bits the it's not, it doesn't make it clear in instructions. I mean, you can see it says C11 and the other side has nothing. So I'm not sure which side's supposed to go up. Um, they look exactly the same. So I'm guessing it doesn't matter, but you will see the numbering, I suppose. Um, so I guess may, maybe later on in the um, instructions, it will tell you which way up they go. Um, or you just use your judgment. I, I'm not sure at the moment, but um, well... If you get to do this yourself, you'll know because you'll know from how it turns out for me. Right, let's do the next bit. And the next bit is popping all these bits in to make that. I've already got that done and done that. So let's do that. Well, so far, so easier than I thought it was going to be. So they just pop in. Just find the holes. Pop it in. And uh, you can see lots of different measurements so yeah this is definitely a tool for helping me later on with the um what's it called the actual kit right what's next do not assemble the steel shaft and shaft sleeve for this step just an example ah uh, so oh i see so because of the different lengths you can put the um shafts in so you'd put your piece in you put your shaft through and it would stop at the 7.5 so it's at the right distances so it's all about the shafts making sure that they're all the correct lengths oh that's a clever little tool which is why it doesn't want me to to do that just yet right let's move on to the next bit whatever that may be um use tool c9 to press small parts c9 oh so we've got another tool this is clever so all the tools that you need are all supplied i'm not going to bother cleaning that up it's just a tool um so i've got me some tools it does come um with a screwdriver which was nice it did say in the box though that there is um batteries included i can't find no batteries so i think they either fell out or they are non-existent which is a shame which is a shame but you can see how that tool's to be used so I, I would go with my thumb, <laughs> my big strong thumb, but it just wants you to do that. Please read carefully and finish the tools before starting. Please keep tools. So I've got to keep making tools. Okay, so, all right, let's make the next tool then. Okay, so we're now starting to actually make the thing. And what I'm doing is I'm just finding the parts. So, I mean, I've got the screwdriver, that's the P12, that's the P18, the P14 the A5, the P16, and I'm just it's getting them ready like that and then making them. And from the look of the picture, we use the um, locking nut. So that thing goes in there, which then holds it in place. And then that goes through that. We 
which then goes through that. It'd be easy if I just do that now. I don't know if you can see me doing all this. I don't know if it's focusing on my hands or, or, or what. Um, and then that goes through this bit. It'd be nice if it said which way around it goes because you've got a red side and not a red side. But I'm guessing, because this is the handle, you're going to want to see the coloured side. So I've got that side. Let's pop that back in there. <laughs> so fiddly. Because I've got such big fat sausage fingers. That then goes in there. Oh, it's a daisy. Pop it back in. Oh. I saved it with my knees, and this is the thing. When you when you make stuff with fiddly little parts, try and keep everything as central in the table as you can because you will find things go flying. And if you can somehow keep everything from going off the table edge, you'll find life a lot easier. Right. If I can do this, let's screw this in. Yeah, I can feel it by in. There we go. It, are we biting? Let's pop it back in. I want to make sure it's nice and tight. Yeah, that's as tight as it goes. So I've got my first bit, and it's obviously a crank. Whee! And then we're going to build the rest. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to just build and then sort of stop at random places and show you how far I've gone. If I come across anything that's tricky, then I'll I'll explain what was tricky about it and if I had any issues or tell you how I got around them. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna just gonna build some and and get a bit of it done because if I do it like this, it's going to be like a four and a half day long video. So let me just skip ahead a little bit. Um, interesting to see though how um, easy it is to to do the next bit. So here's one thing to bear in mind. I needed two of G1E and like there you've got four. When you pop it out, it's impossible to, to pop just two out. So I need just two for now. Um, and it doesn't say on it that it's G1E. So I'm going to just use that as a handy reference to know that which one it actually was. So I'm just going to keep that to one side. I don't want to write on it. I don't want to do anything like that. But just something to bear in mind that um, you, I reckon it's going to get a little bit fiddly later on because I think we're going to end up with little bits that we might not know what they are. So don't throw away these, um, what are they called? Outer shells. I would, I would hold on to these. And I would never, and I really stress this now, I would never punch them all out at the beginning. I think it would be a recipe for disaster. Right. Let's carry on. Um, that's... Well, I got so far. I'm here, and I'm just about to punch out I38, which I found and then lost. <laughs> oh, there they are in the corner to um, to carry on with this crankshaft. Exciting times! So I don't mean to patronise here, but um, needs P7s. These little bars. Now there are so many bars, as you can see, and I I know from experience from from working with other people that not everybody immediately realises um, measurements and things. So it's saying here like P7, 35 mil. So each one of these would be 10 mil. So all you're doing is, is going for 35 on here. So by measuring it on here, you find your 35. That's your 35 mil. So 3.5 centimetres is your, is your um, 35 mil. And you can do that for the others. What Once I measured one I sort of put them into piles so that they're all together um if it if it helped somebody it was worth me showing if it's helped nobody well no harm done um and I didn't mean to patronize anyone but I just didn't want to leave that one out because it is is quite important right let's move on now it's probably just me being a div and somebody will have a chuckle at this um but it might save somebody some problem I, I was looking for 18 I was like where's part 18 where is eight? I eight. 
So, where is it? I ate. I, <laughs> oh, I literally spent about 10 minutes looking for part 18. I was reading all three instructions. I was going, there is no 18. But, um, yeah, I ate. <laughs> Please, um, for anybody who designs anything like this, don't use I. Skip I, because it doesn't look like a one. <laughs> it would save someone like me a bit of a headache. Anyway, moving on. I don't know if this will help anyone, but um, uh, once you get your plastic bits, your little, where are they all gone? First thing you do, and it's it's sort of trying to explain it there, but I mean, I, I'll talk you through it and as I sort of figured it out. You put one of these in that center thing, and then you push your thing in. It only goes so far, um, but you need to push it in far enough and it's what he's trying to say there is you select the number two and you put it on and you push it into the two so it makes the space for the final one which hopefully I can just pop on now oh it's not easy yeah there we go so now I've got two plastic sleeves on the end and I can then crack on with the next bit because I mean I'm getting quite proud of what I've achieved. I mean it's bits you can see like various bits coming together. Um obviously once it's all together it'd be more stable, but I'm yeah, I'm seeing it come together and that is exactly what I'm 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 enjoying. Right, let's crack on with the next bit. Oh yes, I'm officially loving this now. So I've done the bit where I've done <laughs> just a little bit but it's all about the hand crank part and um, I'm at this part here where I've just popped that bit onto there and this is what it looks like so turning the handle turns all these gears oh my gosh <laughs> I'm so proud the whole thing might go to pot and it might be a complete disaster but just being able to do this bit here successfully it's made me really, really happy. So let's move on to the next bit. It's, it looks really fiddly because it's lots of these tiny little bits, um, which looks like a base, but it's looking like very soon we're going to have a large section of it done. So we start building ooh, something big. I like big. I love big. So it's really coming together now. Um, that's where we're up to in the video where we just pull up these bits in. So to do some more like gears. And then it goes in there. Hmm. It's getting late. I am thinking about bedtime. Do you know what? I'm going to do this last one, finish this page off, and then I'm going to stop for the night. But it's starting to look really impressive. Excuse the uh, the mattress in the back. <laughs> I've got a small house, a lot of things in it. And they're going to have another thing soon, a pinball machine. Thank you, Anna. Okay, so that's this little thing put on, and it's really turning into a... Um, cogtastic piece of kit <laughs> now i'm going to call it quits for the night but i'm going to crack on again in the morning so uh betty buys for me so i had a good night's sleep and i'm all ready for well i was going to say part two but really part 727 blimey there's loads of bits of this here we go let's go on to the next stage which where did i get up to well that's where i got up to and done that oh so we're gonna start screwing some bits and bobs in there's gonna be um quite a transformation this next little bit and just a side note when it says they are easy to break luckily i haven't broken them but yes look how fragile some of these pieces are the bit i've just done which includes um those i think is one of the runs from marble i think this is where they go up maybe or down depending on how this is going to work okay so i've got a choice to make here and it's it's to do with these um one side is colored and it's hard to see it might be easy with this one one side's colored one side isn't um it's same blank but because it shows a colored <laughs> square it's like huh? so what i've gone with is if you look at this it shows it on the left side so i'm going to reverse it it's going to be on the right side when you Flip it round if that if that makes sense. Ah, oh, you you see what I mean. So the fact that the blank side is at the back, and it will be 
there, looking at the picture with on the right side with it coloured, I'm guessing it does mean blank. As in the uncoloured side is the blank side. I think that makes sense. I, I don't mind things like this, but make it clearer. Make it clearer. Why not have a, you know, the odd coloured picture maybe? But anyway, I digress. So I'm going to go with the blank side. It doesn't mean the coloured side as it shows in the box. It means the side that isn't coloured, which you could argue would be black. I, I'm, I'm waffling. Let's just do it. And you'll see on the finished results. So if you're actually making this, you can, again, you can use my video on the tricky bits. The, nothing's been tricky so far. It's just little things like this that um, could be misinterpreted. Here we go. Let's let's pop it in. So that's what I mean. It's coloured in at on the right-hand side. Coloured in on the right-hand side. Yeah, I'm going with that. And here is the tool that I made earlier in action. So I got my P6. I put my little, where is it? Like thing on it. And it's saying go for the 10. So yeah, I'll find the 10. Pop it in. Oop. <laughs> 10. Pop it in. And what you should do, it will. you can push the, the bar then through the washer to get the required depth. And then it's just doing it again for, oh, was it the, the free? So, pop a washer in. Very hard one-handed. Pop that in there. Somehow. How am I doing this one-handed? I don't know. Obviously, you won't be recording as you do this, so it'll be easier. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to do this off camera. And there you go. Um, to the required lengths. Very simple, but very ingenious little tool. They're, these tools really are coming in handy. Um, yeah. So what I'm up to? Yeah, I'm putting something quite complex. But just done that as well. If you're wondering what the white stuff is, you have to put wax on from time to time on different parts that move and together. Like here it's saying wax inside of the round hole. Well, that's going to be fun. Um, you get like a, a square stick and doing it in a circle is not easy. Okay, so it's starting to get interesting now. So I've got a bit here where I'm going to be doing some sort of robot chef. Um, lots of gears, lots of little things. So... Um, why don't I just do like a little time lapse just to show you how easy it is to put it all together. It will include a little bit of waxing. Sorry for the squeaky chair. So I'm I'm going to just leave the instructions there and you'll see me as I work my way through. Just, just to show how easy it is. So probably going to fast forward in a second. So get ready for a little bit of fastness. But I've already got all the bits ready to go. So I'm going to get all the bits that need waxing. And let's get a wax in. Okay, so there's one bit done. Um, so that will be that bit. <laughs> now I've got to do that bit. So I've got my G5, got my G9, got my um, D7s, got my C8. Just need my H20 and H16. So Oh, I didn't get those ones ready. Hang on one sec. Right, now I've got all those bits. Let's speed her up again and, um, well, make it. Right, I made a right mess of that, as you probably could see. <laughs> I ain't got there in the end, though. Um, and the thing about it is, because it's no glue, it is you can prise it apart if it, if it goes wrong. So um, H16 is this one, so that's H16. So that's this side. And then H19 is 
this side. So it's just um, this thing here going on here. And then I think that robot, this make side goes like that. And then this goes like that. Uh, thing is, these prongs aren't sticking out enough. I need to readjust this, I think. So let's just give it a squish, first of all. Oh, yeah, just needed to squish it. <laughs> if you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, squish it in. So we now have... I don't think that's quite right. I don't think that's quite right. I don't think that, looking at that picture, oh, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell if these sprogs are supposed to line up with the sprogs over there. Because as you can see, if I go head on, they don't. But if I was to take it off and reposition it, would they line up? It doesn't say if you should or shouldn't. Mm. Okay, let's take it off and let's turn it around because it can only go on one way, um, one or two ways. Now it lines up. No, it doesn't. It still doesn't line up. So I'm going to I'm going to make the executive decision that they're not supposed to line up because there's only there's only two ways it could go on, and both are coming up with the same result. So there we go. There's that bit with some sort of a roboty man. Doesn't he look cute? Doesn't he look cute? And uh, the next bit is all about putting him in. So I'm just going to bung him in and uh, see what it looks like after he's gone in. Okay, so the part you just saw me building was this bit with the um, robot chef. And uh, I have to keep him upright when I test it, but you'll see that lots of things are now moving together. I'm guessing the robot chef just goes ballistic in the back, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards as it's being rotated. But yeah, pretty pretty sweet so far um and if you want to know what i'm doing next it's more cogs so i think what i'll do is i'll get all the parts ready and you can have another time lapse i'm spoiling you guys aren't i another time lapse right so i've got all the parts for this bit and this bit just got to assemble it just one thing to bear in mind and it's i21 when you pop them out let's zoom in on that so you can see it when you pop them out you've got to be careful that you don't damage the actual wood but the fact that i did it on two i21s tells me there was something wrong with the wood but that's one of the things to bear in mind when you pop them out i go very slow and put the least amount of pressure as i can on but i reckon they were always going to do that but it shouldn't distract from the model because these are just internal parts right let's zoom back out and let's time lapse Always the way when I'm making a video. Knock, knock on the door. <laughs> yeah, Would I, do I want my windows washing? It's like, uh, no, you're right, thanks, mate. And so, yeah, let's get back to making this um, bit. So fast forward, here we go. Right, I thought I'd fast forward that up. Um, yeah, so sometimes 
I have a div moment and that was one of them. So I've made these two little bits. What have I got to do next? It's very intriguing and all these cogs. So it's um, popping it in. Oh, God, this looks a bit tricky. So it, it involves inserting. Oh, I see. So we're going to end up with. Um, Cogs here attached to here. Oh dear. Oh dear, this is going to be fun. Right, um, I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm going to just do it and then you'll see it on. Right, so there you go. One there, one there, and then there's going to be some form of um, <clears throat> well, what's me called? Like a a brace for it all to keep it all in. I'm guessing, and then hooray, we move on to something else. <laughs> right, so that is obviously bracing that and this. And if I was to turn it now, let me see how it all interacts. I mean, this thing is. Gotta be careful of that robot chef. Um you see this thing over here just <laughs> I can't turn <laughs> and show you we can keep the robot chef upright. Um this thing here just moves around um as well. So lots of things are starting to be um connected and are interacting with one another. Mm -hmm. Very ingenious. All from bits of wood punched out of a car. Um out of a card, out of a bigger piece of wood. So that's the bit I've um, just done. Um, now it's like rabbits and the frontage. So I'm, I'm guessing what we're doing now is starting. There's like a little cake. We're starting to make it look like um, the stage. It's sort of like the the actual display bit. That hides all the gubbins. Ooh, isn't it looking exciting? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go for it and get to this stage off camera so you can see what it looks like. Um, but you can see what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be punching out all the relevant bits. So there's going to be a lot of these little bits coming out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get it to that stage. And uh, anything that props up that I think is complicated, well, I will basically stop and explain but hopefully hopefully all this is going to be covered up very shortly so it's saying paste 38 um until i don't know if you can make it out it's like you can make out where it's been so, um, etched out you can't punch that out but it looks like you just glue that on um, obviously I'm not going to glue it on now because why would I I'll do it at the end but um, so just so as you know that bit is missing because I chose for it to be missing all right let's carry on it's looking pretty dapper isn't it yeah just got the stage top to go on and then obviously some more stuff let's crack on I should really say as well, be careful when you punch out ones like these because they have lots of cuts in them so that they're bendy. It's the same as this one did. So they're very fragile, very easy to break. So take extra care removing um, these ones. You'll know the ones. They've got lots of cuts. You can just see it. There are any that look like they need to be bent. Right, just like there's supposed to be a present on the front there, there's going to be some raised stands and these cakes go on them. But I'm not going to put them on now. I'm going to do it all at the end because stuff like that I just know I'm not going to often lose. So, um, yeah, that's where we're we're up to, the bit where um, you put these little circular bits on 
and then you'd stick the cakes on cakes on top of them. Yeah, it's coming along, isn't it? You can even see how the marbles would go. Let's just get a marble out. I love the fact the marble's all bright colours. So it is like um Oh god. Oh no, that's gone here. I don't think I wanted to put that on there. Um, but you saw how he quickly span around. I've got to get it out now. It's um, it's in there somewhere. All right. I just created myself a problem. But I do like I do like the design. It is very clever. Okay, so next bit. Um, spring mechanism. So I'm guessing... Oh, look, a little shutter goes up and down. I'm guessing this is more to do with, um, like, lights and stuff like that because we're now getting the bit where we're putting in where are you this like i said it didn't come with the batteries which was very annoying but it is what it is so i'm gonna go to the shops buy the batteries for this and then uh, fix it on but it's yeah it's a lot going on isn't there but this is the bit, obviously, that all lights up. It says LED display, and I thought, oh, it's going to say words and be fancy. No, 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 it's just some some, some lights. Anyway, I'm off to the shops. All right, so I went to the shops, got these batteries, just in case you're wondering what ones. Nice and cheap, little three-volt coin batteries. Right. <laughs> very bright. Um, just a warning, when I turn this on, it might be very bright. Oof. Um... Yeah, so that is going to get wrapped around all that when I um, unravel it all and uh, get it attached. Oh, sorry, I'm I'm just a bit pooped. Whenever I go to the shops, I always end up pooped. I think it's just dealing with the sheer amount of idiots pushing trolleys directly at you. But um, yeah, we made it out alive. We made it out with our souls intact. Okay, so this is the bit I'm doing. Um, ooh, look at that. Very posh. Factory. So what we doing is we're doing like the springy bit and this bit obviously is going to slide up and down it doesn't say to do it but i waxed this part and uh, as soon as i waxed it it moved a lot smoother so i recommend waxing that so that goes on there and then this part here e4 from what it's saying sits on the top and goes in there but i press the springs down so boing on the peg bit oh got it got it and then that goes in there. <laughs> I've gone and done it. Makes me feel like a bit like a guillotine. So now it's like spring action. Doing, doing. It's like a pinball. So now that's on, I can continue with it. And it's going to be um, putting this a little bit on the side, but then doing the lights. So I'll just show you with the lights on because I think this is going to be tricky. It's all about feeding it in, and there's no way I can do that on camera. So in a second, you'll see it with lights all over it. Right, I think I've done it right. It, it's very hard to sort of follow the instructions because they're very um, plain. But what I've done is I've wrapped them around these pegs, trying to get a light in each one. And then what was left over, I've slotted back through the hole it went through. And it looks a little like that. Ooh, I don't. <laughs> I don't know if it's right. I don't know if it's wrong, but I like it. I like it, and I can obviously just position things, make it a little bit different. I think that's looking better actually already, just by repositioning some of them. Something for me to play with. Okay, so uh, carrying on, it looks like um, we're going to be doing something for the top here. So I'm just going to do that, and and um, well, actually. I do it as a what's it called a um, <laughs> fast forward montage thing. Right, time to fast forward. I hope this works. I hope this works. So it is E twelve. Right, so there we go. Dunk, dunk, dunk. Um, I just realised something though. The wires, I don't know if you can see this. I wrapped them around the top. Look at that. You can see where they're supposed to be. So I'm just going to just tease them down so that this goes flush. Um, and I'll be right back. OK, 
Okay, so I've redone the, the wiring, which means there's a hell of a lot popping through, but there's less um, lights. But um, yeah, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> Mainly because I want this to sit flush, and I'd rather it sat flush than didn't. Because at the end of the day, if it doesn't fit properly, then there's no point in having it. And I'd rather... Oh, it still lights up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going with that. I'm going with that. So I've got the next bit. A lovely little ice cream h down bit. So it looks like that extra bit of um, light... That I ended up with actually I did need so I'm gonna to have to thread it through a hole and then well pass string light for one through the square hole then string light two and then twist string light two on the part as shown wow is a doubt <laughs> how's about that then a lot of stringing of lights um, I'm just gonna do it and then I'm gonna come back to it Far and away, the hardest part so far has been this. Um, not only the wiring, Ooh, this is all in, but then fitting this piece in. <laughs> I'm just going to show you something it says here. Insert this part patiently. Boy, do they mean it. Um, first of all, you have to get that peg in down the bottom here. I'll just bring it around. And it sort of goes in right at the bottom there. But... To be able to get it in, you have to be able to get these two pegs in, which will only go in if that's in, but you can't get that in until they're in. It really is a pickle. And then there's loads up here, which um, all slot into various things. I don't think that's quite in that one. As good as it gets. Uh, and on the side. now. It all looks good, doesn't it? Until you notice that little thing there. Now, when you put it in, mind that, because I just snapped it off. It is a clean break, though, which is good, because I can just super glue that on. It's, <laughs> it's like a little ice cream thing. Oh, no, and it's got a little bit damaged there, doesn't it? Oh, well. I will do the best I can with it. But it, it's a small casualty. It's a small casualty, but an annoying one. And it's all because I put my finger there to push it down and <laughs> snaps it off. Oh well, oh well. Like I said, at least the, the lights are all working. Um, it's a small thing to, to have knocked off. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. Right, but that's at the end. That goes at the end. Let's move on. Right, I've just been building and building creating and stuff so i've just literally been doing this part this part this part which has created this which spins um no idea what it's going to end up being but um i thought we'd do a time lapse for the next bit because it's looking quite important it looks like a, a very large part of it is about to be completed which well, I think it deserves a time time a time lapse. So what I'm going to do. I'm going to get all the element parts all in little piles, and then you can watch me do it as a time lapse. Should see a large thing created. Right, I've got two piles: one for all that, and one for that. So, oh my days, this bit looks really complicated. So, I'm still going to do it as a fast thing, if you know what I mean. Otherwise, we're going to be here for like 17 years uh, watching this video. But um, if I find there's anything that I find really tricky, obviously I'll explain it at the end. So anyway, let's fast forward and see how we do.
Right. I'm going to stop there for now. So, <laughs> God. It wasn't hard, but I made a right royal mess with this. Make sure you put that on first. So I've made this, and this obviously goes underneath now, so I'm just going to have to connect it with four... Well, no, it's not for this the plastic things, isn't it? I just need to get um, these things in place. My fingers are hurting. <laughs> because of pressing on these little hard things, I'm getting very sore thumbs. Um, so it's just put an end on and then pushing through. Okay, I'm going to speed this bit up as well. Okay, so it says um, we've put these plastic things on to flush with the steel shafts. So I'm just doing it flush with the shields, the shafts. So this has got um, a lot of movement in it, which makes me wonder if that's where the marble goes in and then it rolls out, um, which gives it its its movement. Who knows? I'm sure we'll find out. Soon enough. So I gotta put this in to the main thing now. So um I'm gonna pop it in and you'll see uh it in a second. Okay, so that's it um on and this part is popped in. I was a bit worried that this wasn't meshing with the gear down there. Then when I popped this on, it all went into place and it was like yay, it works. So when you turn this, so many little bits are um turning. It's very good. I like it. I like it a lot. Hmm. That does mean, though, we're on to the next bit. Um, so, lift part be like for easy assembly. Oh, and it's talking about um, getting that thing. Yeah, it went, uh, that was easy to get in. It's just I had to pop it behind the um, the wheel there. And. Um, yeah, and it popped. So that's where I'm up to. I'm oh, so professional. This. <laughs> I'm sure there's better ways of doing this, but it is about bridge remat. Um, so we're going to be doing this part here. Ooh. That looks like a run for a marble. Yeah. Extra little bits. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do all of that. Maybe take some pictures as it progresses, um, because otherwise this is going to turn into a mammoth. Actually, what I'll do is I'll get to the end of all this and uh, take some pictures as I go along. So, yeah, get ready for a little montage. Blimey O'Reilly, it's really coming along now, isn't it? The more I put on, the stronger it is as well. So it's becoming very, very strong. There's um, a little robot man. It's still still a long way to go, and uh, I think we're coming up to the bit where we're going to be threading more of the wires around things. So I think what we need to do is just... Yeah, threading wires. Let's, let's get it to this stage. And then uh, we'll, we'll see what we're going to do next. So there we go. Got this bit done and got all the um, like wiring done there. Awesome. Okay, so it looks like we're doing more decorative stuff now. So um, there's this thing here, P, where is it? P35, which is this stuff. So it really is getting to that point where we're nearing the end, I think. Knowing full well, there's going to be loads more to do. That looks pretty interesting, doesn't it? Like a bowl. Look at that with like octopus arms everywhere. Right. I think I'll just do that and take some photographs as I go along. How cool is this? 
Oh, I really wish I'd shown this being made. It, um, oh, well, there we go. So it's just lots of little parts that went together that form this beautiful looking thing. I really like that. It's got a cog at the bottom, which is um, all waxed up. So um, it's going to go in there somewhere. It's got an arrow point. <laughs> I'm going to go. I'm just going to bung it in and see how it looks. Ooh, be back in a sec. There's the top bit on it. It's got like um like a thing to hold it in. Ooh, don't know why. I really want to stick my finger in there. <laughs> I probably shouldn't. Um, if you turn it, eee. so it um, does get stuck sometimes, and then it gets going again. I am, um, yeah, I'm liking it. Still got a bit more to go. And I can't wait to put a marble in and see it all in action. But uh, yeah, let's crack on with the next bit, which will be, if I just move that over, because um, I've just done that bit where I put that in and got that. So I'm going to, I don't know what on earth that is. Um, yeah, whatever it is, I'm going to do it. <laughs> I think I see what it's for. You put the ball in there, it rolls down, drops, blah, 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 and in it goes. I think I worked it out. Clever little old me. Right, I've got a load more pieces for another big bit, so um, let's do a time lapse. I am a sucker for punishment, and it do take me a, a while to edit, but I'm going to go for it. <laughs> let's have another time lapse. Here we go. Right, and there we go. Look at those different layers. Crazy, crazy. So, um, where does that go? Where does that go? Oh, what a surprise. It goes... up here so yeah yeah I see how it goes right let me slot it on so it's going on here so very intriguing a lot, lot going on there oh my days doesn't it look awesome right it look even better once everything is cleaned up on this table next bit is doing um some little tiny bits. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get to the end and then I'll show you what it looks like. So the main thing added is this thing here, which twists. Yeah, I don't know if you can see like a paddle thing at the moment. So I think when a marble hits it, it rotates. Um, there's a couple of little things that went on, but nothing, nothing major. That was the main thing. Uh, and it's brought me up to the end of page 20. Oh my gosh. There's a part of me that wants to stop, but there's a part of me that wants to keep going on because oh, as much as I want to finish, I shouldn't skip pages. Why can I not? Okay. <laughs> so there's there's more bigger things to do now. And um yeah, it's I just want to crack on. I want to get this finished. So um what I'm going to do is I'm going to get through all of this all the way to the end of page 22 and I'll just do some pictures just to show how I got along. Phew, I got to the point where there's more now on this than there is over there. But boy, am I pooped. It's 11 o'clock at night. I'm so tempted to crack on. Um, 22. This really is the end. It's the home straight. And uh, we're going to start doing... I'll put a dome on the top and... 
Oh, a few little bit more bits. Oh, it does look like there's still quite a bit to go. 24, and then obviously it's finished. 11 o'clock at night. If I carry on, I'm going to make mistakes, aren't I? Do you know what? I'm going to make the executive decision. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. But I'm happy with how it's looking. Um, I haven't turned the lights on since I've done a load of wiring. Shall, shall I do that? Hang on. Let me let me pause the camera for a sec. Oh, wow. Would you look at that? Even that bit up there is lit up. All that's lit up. Um, down here with other robots cooking the dinner is all lit up. There's um, a bit more to... To be wrapped around somewhere, it's probably all going to be in there, isn't it? But uh, wow, looking pretty nifty. Right, definitely bedtime now. Sweet dreams, everyone. So it's a new morning. The sun is shining. Sadly, the birds aren't singing. I'm going to crack on with it and hopefully finish it today. <laughs> Knowing full well that I won't. <laughs> so, oh, I did this, didn't I? I did this bit. I was showing Chris what I did. And uh, he was... Not interested in the slightest. Um, yeah, so we're going to be doing this domey bit and putting like a plasticky lid on the top. Make some sort of cover, doesn't it? Right. Then what do we do? Then we put some decorations on. I think what I'll do is I'll just take some pictures as I go along and uh, show you how it turns out. Okay, so I've just done this bit, and it's it was fun to make, but it's a nightmare to put on. You see how it's like a hook? It goes in there, and then you push it down. But the problem I'm having is this is so sharp, it's in my hand trying to push it down. And I don't want to do it from here, because obviously it will snap. So what I've done is I've put a load of wax on. I'm going to see if that works. If it works, you can see where I put the wax. If it works and it slides on easier, then that'd be my tip for you. I can't do it one-handed, so let's just see how it goes. Just could not get it to go in at all. So that E3, this thing here, I took it off. I've left it off. And voila, it's in. Nice and solid, and it's right up against the edge. So whether that was a <coughs> misprint or something like that, I don't know. But... Um, yeah, there you go. So I managed to get it on. I didn't realise this, but I think this is like a doo -doo -doo, little door. And it's because of the door that I was able to see the... Can you see it? That thing there, at the back there. That's how I could see that it wasn't hooking, because it was just... Well, that was just too much. Oh, there we go. So, looking, looking swish. Yeah, so I'd leave E3 out if I was you. Um, so I've done that bit. 24. Ooh, 26 is the last page. So it's... And that's the bit I just put on. Ooh, it's going to do a bell next. ding a ling a ling a ling um, And then a couple of rabbits and things. Putting the cakes on. And I'm done. Oh my gosh. Right. <sighs> Photographs again. I I ain't got the energy to do anything other than photographs. So there it is in all its glory. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I must even if I say so myself. Um, even better when it's loud. Hang on, let me turn the lights off and then I'll light it up and you'll see what I mean. <laughs> How about that? It's hard to make out what it is with the uh, with the lights on, but it doesn't it look special? I like, especially down here with the little robot chef and all these cakes. Um, you can see the marbles in there. I couldn't resist giving it a try. It works spectacular. I'll show you how it works in a second. Um, bear with. Let me turn the lights back on. Okay, so you can see marbles down the bottom there, and that's where they end up. And then they pop along here and then they get shuffled up here do, 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 do. and then they start the descent and then they roll around you'll see the um little arrow get knocked then they drop spiral in drop down and uh end up down here 
Um, the bell doesn't do anything other than if you want to knock it. Um, so it literally is just crank it. Then the ball comes round. Oh, you got stuck. Sometimes they do that. So you keep turning. And obviously, <laughs> another one joined it. And then they'll end up down the bottom there. And they just keep, they just keep on coming. If they get stuck at all, all you gotta do, apparently, is give that little nozzle. It seems like that is something they anticipated because it does mention it in the um, in the instructions. So we're gonna have another one go. Do 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 do. I'm gonna come down here so you can see it drop. See the little rock pot, chef. He's so happy. Yay! Jumpy, 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 jumping for joy. It's pretty cool. I do like it. And then they just keep. They just keep. Keep on coming. Oh, and another one that stopped. Sometimes they literally just fall in. But, you know. Oh, they're getting stuck in there. Ah, <gasps> they're getting stuck. What's causing that? We got a. We got a blockage, chef. Yeah, they're all getting. Little nudge. Little nudge in it on the way. Um, but it's it's great fun. Um, I enjoyed putting it together. If there was um, some criticisms about the kit, um, number one is what you just saw, that you sometimes just get jammed, but you know, what are you going to expect with um, sync? Handmade by me, the biggest deal in the world. But if I zoom in, I say zoom in, just bring the camera in closer. Can you see like um, the little marks? When you take them apart, you can't help but get that. It's it's almost you notice I've done it on all of them. Well, I managed to avoid that one, which is why I put it on there. But there and there's there, and it was the same with other uh, little bit of coloured things. It's almost impossible not to um, get the marks. Uh, another complaint I had is <clears throat> there's there's some pins. You all know the ones. You all know the ones when you do it. They break so easily. Um, G ones. The every time you pump them in, break. Pump it in, break. And after a while, you just get to the point where you're like, what on earth is this all about? So um, all I'll say is this. If you're doing it and they're breaking, try your best not to break them, but don't fret. This does seem to be lots of extras. Um, another thing I don't like is sometimes, like there, B10, the, the, num the number in the lettering isn't hidden. It happens on a few other pieces as well. And it's, you know, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um but I'd rather not see it. And things like that as well. It's coloured, but when you come around a different angle, like there, it's all blue. Not so coloured. Um, around the back, yeah, got no real problems. This was a nice little feature. I didn't realise until my son locked it. So you can lift that up, and then it's a little door. <laughs> Uh, apparently that's another place they can get jammed. So lock that up. Um, I didn't like the fact it didn't come with batteries, even though it said it would. Um, but, you know, I'll show that properly when I... Oh, there we go. It would have been nice to have got the batteries, but, you know, I'm not going to be too upset about that. As I come round, my son said, why did you put that on wrong? <laughs> He's supposed to be at an angle. Doesn't weigh much. Very light. Um, very nice. I liked it. I enjoyed it, and I, I would recommend it. I wouldn't give it to anyone under the age of um, ten to do. Anyway, over that, yeah. As long as you keep an eye on them, it, it's not so much that they'll hurt themselves. It's that it's so easy to break bits, like I did with the sign that's supposed to be there. I didn't bother putting it back on. I just left it off because you can't really tell it's not there, can you? but yeah there you go um thank you so much Anna for that it was a blast to make um how long did it take me about 
I'd say a good 24 hours spread over three days. I mean, I really put a lot of time in it. Um, I had a couple of days off, you see, so I really worked hard on this. Um, it's got a four out of five star difficulty rating. Um, yeah, I'd say it's... If you've never done a model before, I think you might struggle with it a little bit. But uh, if you've done models before, I'm sure you'll you'll be fine. And um, the lighting on it, as much of a pain in the bum as it I, it was when I was doing it, doesn't seem that difficult now that I look back on it. I think it was just a more case of me making it harder than it needed to be. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching that. If you did enjoy watching it, why not subscribe? I do promise... <laughs> I promise that there will be a lot more um, things coming out. I'll make sure that um, I don't fall behind on the uh, on the videos like I have done recently. So look after yourself and those you love, and I will see you again soon. Cheerio, everyone. Bye. Right, just a little extra on the end, and it was probably a lot of you have noticed this. Um, took me a few days to notice this. It's because I was tired. And I even went round and said, look, I don't like that. Um, yeah, that hole and those holes there, well, there should be something in there. And what should be in there is these little bits. So I completely skipped that part. I might struggle getting G14 in because I've now got all that stuff there, which will block me getting it in, but I'll give it a try. So it's a very simple step as well. <laughs> it'll take all the five seconds, but it'll make quite a difference to how it looks. And there you go, it doesn't look better. And I managed to get that bit on the top. It wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Um, there's still those two holes and there is nothing to go in there so that's very odd but it does make a difference so I suppose I better do a new picture for the thumbnail <laughs> oh well that is definitely the end of the video I hope you enjoyed it um, all the best to each and every single one of you and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done already and uh, if you make a mistake like me don't worry about it it's easy to resolve later on isn't it bye